you say about mm -hmm. the play of your quarterback over the course of these last few weeks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Taylor, he Taylor Heineke is a guy who plays every play like it's his last, man. And um, he, he gives us a chance to win football games just the way he he wills his, his the way he plays. And I think just his toughness, he's, he's willing to fight for the extra yards. He's going to give me 50-50 ball chances along with the other skill players. And I think we rally around him, honestly. And, um, you know, we're just so lucky to have a guy like that who, who has taken, an opportunity, taken his opportunity and ran with it since he came with us in Tampa a few years ago. He just gives us a chance to win. And, and the way the heart that he plays with, I feel like it's infectious. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to play with a guy like that who, who's, like, gritty, you know what I mean? It's dirty, yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. Um, but you, you love playing with guys like that because um, they elevate the other guys around them. And, um, you know, I think we have a chance to – they kept seeing themselves feeling confident. I told y'all last week, you know, they trust Hanukkah. They, the team love him. You know, I think I know they love Clark, but they love him because he's a gunslinger. And if you don't know about the league, a lot of backup quarterbacks really don't care, to be honest. Like, why do you think Fitzpatrick made so much money? You know, like, he's always been a backup for so long, but he really go out there gunslinging it, don't care. Because, you know, I ain't gonna say they're not the franchise, but they're not the franchise, you know what I'm saying? So. They just like, hey man, we got a backup quarterback, man. Just go out there and do your thing, man. Play, play hard, play fast, play what, do what you need to do to help win. And he does that on a very high level, man. He kind of understand his role in that team, and the guys in that locker room trust and believe in him. So salute to them, man. They had a great, great, great game plan. Freaking out over Taylor Heineke. First of all, we get it. You hate Carson Wentz, and the Taylor Heineke story. Plucky small guy feels great. He had a 66 passer rating. Last night. It's one of those things last night. Consider last night like one of those things you did in high school or college, a group project. Four turnovers, 40 yards time of possession, Terry McLaurin a great catch. It's like a group project and Taylor Heineke's really well liked and he gets an A on the group project. But what do you have the rest of the day? Anything cool? What are you doing? About to put a couple Zens in and go home. Oh, oh hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> dog. Yeah! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Heineke. <laughs> yeah! Being honest, as much as I love Ron Rivera, Ron Rivera was asked, okay, you just won a huge game. You beat the previously undefeated Philadelphia Eagles. Taylor Heineke's rolling. Offense is rolling. Obviously, Taylor Heineke's your guy. Ain't that right, Ron Rivera? Yeah, I mean, you have to look at the momentum. You have to look at, you know, what, what, what the mood of the team is, obviously. There's a lot of factors that go into it, John. A lot of things that I'll have to discuss with Scott and, and Kenny, for that matter. You look at what is best for the team, and at the end of the day, that's how it has to be. Say it. You know, you there's a great saying: you treat everybody the same, you treat everybody fair, you treat everybody that's according to the saying. team. And and that's what this is about. So, the decision being made will be about the team first and foremost. Um, you know, and and one thing that I've always done is is whoever the starter is, you know, I'm going to commit to them fully. My God! Oh. What? That's a handful. He That's just said words for the sake of saying words. Salad. That's a handful. You're right. I, I understand. The answer is Taylor Heineke. No. Just come out and say it's Taylor Heineke. Yeah. I think, right? I think it's a little bit more difficult than that. No, it is no not. Way. No, no, no. I'm, I'm on your guys' side, right? We just said Stevie wanted right. to see it coming. I'm By the Commanders now, they've won four of their last five games. And the big question ahead of Sunday's game which quarterback will start? Sports director Darren Haynes is covering that for us tonight. Quarterback Taylor Heineke will get the start for the Washington Commanders on Sunday against the Houston Texans, and I knew Heineke was going to get the start when I didn't see quarterback Carson Wentz behind me practicing today. Wentz has missed the last four games with a finger injury, and head coach Ron Rivera says he's been cleared to start throwing, but hasn't been designated to practice yet, so that means Taylor Heineke is QB1. Hey, coach. For those of you who think that Carson Wentz should be the starter when he comes back healthy, I'm going to tell you this. The only way Carson Wentz should get back on the field if Taylor Heineke's injured. And for those who say Sam Howe should be quarterback, and I'm going to tell you this. The only way Sam Howe should get on this field if we're completely out of playoff contention, then we can see what Sam has. But until then, you just got to go with the hot hand. You got to go with the guy that Galvin galvanizes the locker room. You got to go with the guy that the team plays for. And that guy's Taylor Heineke. 
through the downfalls, through the bad throws, through the everything. At the end of the day, Taylor Heineke gives this team the best shot of winning this year. Let's take command.